Hey guys, this is Impact Hall of Famer Gail Kim, and you are watching the Countdown City WrestleCast. Tommy. Yo. Over there we got Mike. What's up? A full table this What's week. Yeah. Four man band. <laughs> All it takes is a controversial finish to pay for you to get four of us together to rant about it. <sighs> so I like can stay I don't even know if I should be here. Anymore. Let us know your rant. CCG underscore WrestleCast. Subscribe to the Countdown City Geeks yeah. YouTube channel for more uh, WrestleCast please. episodes. Yes. Yes. Uh, as you too. no doubt guessed, today we are <laughs> recapping slash ranting about slash <laughs> bitching about Hell in a Cell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> no, to be clear, I'm bitching. Just, uh, <laughs> I, I have no problem admitting that. It's not all <laughs> going to be bad because we're also going to preview what it. What happened? It <laughs> <laughs> and also talking about some of the big matches for New Japan's King of Pro Wrestling event. Oh, yeah. I know baby. the guy. I know some of the guys. Uh, <laughs> Baron Corbin going to be there? <laughs> In every match, I need if to know all, what's all, going Only if hell freezes over. Yeah. <laughs> that also sounds like an awesome paper. Well, yeah. we're going to jump right into it. Okay. Hell in a Cell, which uh, for me felt like a glorified episode of Raw. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Know? you. I okay. Agree. Uh, <laughs> you know, when we... short. It started off super hot. No, it yeah, started, it started fine. fine. But here's the, here's the thing going in. When we previewed this last week, we had three matches that we knew of. In the time between then and the day of the event, they had added one more match, which was Bailey versus Charlotte. Uh, and they, oh, and they uh, added, added a bunch it, more. It, it, okay. added a bunch like that night. Like three yeah. more? And, and real quick, even if we had picked, who wouldn't have picked Charlotte at this point for that match? Me. Really? Because, like, I, I would have. No, I probably would have picked Charlotte, but I didn't want to. I, I would have yeah. put money on Charlotte just because of how they've been promoting her on SmackDown lately. I would have. I think the only thing Charlotte. I'd go against that is that the whole thing with it is her dad. The Ric Flair. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be the only see, reason I'd like, maybe was, My thing only would have been the way they're kind of weaving the two storylines with, yeah, with Becky and Sasha and her and Charlotte. Yeah. Like, yeah. I felt like that might have had... Because they didn't really get involved in each other's, you know... No, I thought that would have played more uh, into it if it, you know, we would have known Yeah, I can, I can see that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly yeah. enough, the event was bookended by Helena Cell matches, starting off with Becky versus Sasha, uh, which was the match Should've of the night. Should have been main event. Should have been main event. Really, with, with what they did and pulled should, off. Yeah. Should have been main event. And, uh, man, they, they went over 30 minutes. Yeah. Which was amazing. Yeah. So, pulled out everything. Um, I think, obviously, way better than the first Helena Cell match with Sasha and Charlotte years ago, so... Uh, they brought I thought it. you meant the King Sean. Uh, no. I will, I will <laughs> say that. I, I did know. Sean and Sean Tiger. Tiger. I do. I would. I don't. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Nailed it. Teenism. Yeah. Go. Go. Um, I did tell JC. I was like, is Sasha now 0-2 in a cell? And she's like, yeah. She's 0-2. Yeah. She's, she she's the only woman to be involved. She doesn't exactly have the best track record when it comes to pay-per-views. And, and, and her, in, in her defense, Mick Foley has probably been the most help, famous Hell in a Cell participant. He's never won one either. Yeah. <laughs> And, and Undertaker, <laughs> who storyline was his idea, didn't even win the first one. He didn't, he, didn't, no. he, he only won the second the one. Of yeah, he only won the second one because he had to nearly kill Mick Foley twice. To, to oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, it was an interesting night to say the least. Uh, one of the more underrated matches, also I think, was uh, King Corbin against Chad Shorty Gable, <laughs> as he was dubbed, and that they announced him the winner as. Um, <sighs> It was nice to see Gable get a win. Yeah, yeah I just thought the nickname. It's so stupid. And, I know. And the match was long. I was yeah. like surprised. They, I will say this. The two of them working together, this is like what the third or fourth time that they work together. Yeah. And it, it's they've been good. They've been great matches. They, yeah. they work well. Uh, good chemistry in the ring between yeah. them. So. No, I agree with that. They were definitely... Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's probably the one guy who's nice having good matches with Corbin who I actually don't mind seeing more of. It's just, you know, I'm just happy to see Corbin lose because God, he gets on my nerves. But anyway. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Same. Uh, the pre-show, we got Natty versus Lacey Evans, <laughs> which was okay. Lacey, though, a half-hearted tap out was kind of eh. Actually, oh. the, the match on Raw yep. the next night was actually pretty damn good. Okay, so 
I, I, I thought about that because I agree with that, but then I remember something Edge told a story about him and Eddie Guerrero. They said they had a pay-per-view match one night. They didn't like it, so they had a no DQ match on the, on the following SmackDown, mm-hmm. and they both agreed it was way better. Right. To the point that to the point they said when they got on the plane the next day, they looked they were both hobbling on the plane, and they looked at each other and Edge said, "What did we do to each other last night?" <laughs> this was just a weird event too because. There was no WWE Championship match. And didn't it feel like this event was literally thrown together hours before the show started? That's what it me? felt like. It um, didn't even feel like, like they had a plan so, that these uh, weren't the same. So can we state the obvious? You know, um, Brock becomes WWE Champion, and then he doesn't show up to the pay-per-view. Let's go back to that on SmackDown. I mean, it's not that he just became champion. I know what I mean. I know what it's I'm saying. He became champion in under 10 seconds after oh Kofi had such a run with it. Mm. And that's the, the, the way you go out. I mean... We picked it, uh, I think we all, for the most part, picked Lesnar. Yeah. I I, I, well, I didn't write it down, but I think when we talked about no, it... You know, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think I picked Kofi just because, but I knew better. But I think I just picked Kofi just because. Know, but we all figured Lesnar was going to win. But I thought, give Kofi a better match than that. Nine Co- seconds? Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was such a waste. And granted, yes, you got Cain Velasquez debuting, who isn't even officially under contract yet. He's still negotiating with him. Yeah, they didn't, need him, they didn't need him to... They didn't need Brock having a belt for that. Though. Let's be honest. Who thought that was Dominic when he just came out? <laughs> I was like, oh, Dominic shaped his own. Bro. That was good. I came in front. That was good. I'm very happy to see it. Uh, I mean, I, I think I mentioned that I would love to see Kane show up and just beat the crap out of Lesnar. And Lesnar did sell how fearful he was of him because Kane beat the crap out of him. Probably, probably, probably was legitimate fear. Yeah. See, I get that, but I, I even messaged you all this like, it doesn't do anything for me. Like I realize yeah. these guys had a real MMA fight and, and Kane actually beat him, but I mean, like I don't know. The Brock thing has just run its course way over. The same. Over. Yeah. I, mean, that's um, true. I get really know, bored of them. Clearly, his matches have been better when he fought the smaller, more athletic guys. Um, you know, other than Goldberg, and that's only because at WrestleMania they did the match better. So that's they should have had years like, ago. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. And so and, and I, th- I think that's what he should have gotten out of Kofi. I think they wanted to bring Kane at this point because it was on Fox. Yeah, no, Fox I get has, yeah, Fox has a history airing UFC, so there's a lot of those viewers that they were trying to capture as well. And they yeah. did such a great job with it. No, I totally get it because I think it's also for that they wanted I guess when they go to the super show do, showdown, whatever. Crown jewel. Crown that jewel. Thing. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a that lot thing. of rumors out there, people saying it's gonna be booked for for Crown Jewel. And dear God, I hope not, because the Saudis wouldn't know how to treat this match. Uh, first of all, Kane, if he does sign anywhere, he just said he needs knee surgery. Can we he talk can... about that for a minute later? We'll talk about that. Okay. But he said he needs, you noticed that he when he came out, yeah, he had we're knee not brace. Leave. Yeah. He needs knee surgery wherever he goes. He's worked some matches already in Mexico. Right. And he's been to great reviews, but he yeah. does need knee surgery whenever he does sign. I think it's a match you could set up for Survivor Series or Rumble between the two of them, and that would sell huge. I, I look forward to it. Don't know why he needs a belt, though. But the new, the, and this I is kind of what I was going Technically, I'm saying that too. I don't need a belt. No, they don't. You can have it booked, at just the two of them. But I don't know. Uh, Vince wants to capture that. Apparently, mainstream. I'm on free TV. Uh, I need a big star to have the belt. That's great. Okay, and so besides Becky and Sasha, who else did you think was a, was the second best match? Uh, I think I said already. I thought it was Gable and Corbin mm-hmm. for me personally. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think what uh, else was there. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Well, that kind of leads the, into the, our uh, the Twitter Bailey and Charlotte one wasn't that bad either. No, 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 it wasn't. wasn't but that no, uh, no, it wasn't. According to our Twitter Hillers. poll, the second best match was Rollins versus the Fiend. And I think it's now we can. Bullshit! <laughs> wow, I'm so, I'm kind of shocked. How many votes did we get? Well, 20, we Twenty nine. Yeah. So that's probably a good. Yeah, it's a good amount. Yeah. So. Before we start ranting about what we hated about the night, because I think it's pretty obvious, I'll go with our picks for the week. Because Last week when we previewed, we made picks for like uh, match results on AEW, on NXT, and Hell in a Cell. It means like four or five people voted. For yeah, it. well, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mike and Tommy both went three or four on our picks for the week, and uh, myself and Tina went five and two. That's right. The official result <laughs> of the Rollins Fiend main event was <clears throat> no changed fun. to like a match stoppage, so technically Rollins won. Was the ref decided he went too far? Just give me a break. Uh, yeah. It was just weird. So, All before right. we get into our rating, though, that main event. First off, uh, if you haven't seen it, you probably heard about it by now. It was everywhere. The whole hashtag cancel WWE Network is trending. 
Oh my I'm god. He's dumb. Um, yeah, I mean, as mad as I am. Let's find that out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even bother with that anymore. Oh, but I'm sure I can find it. Hashtag. There's a lot. Of, from what I have read, that's the finish. The match went exactly how Vince wanted it to go. And while he initially laughed off the, uh, the reaction from the fans, he can't laugh off AEW chants, restart the match chants, and refund chants that just filled up that whole arena. Yeah, the video after the, after the show was over were amazing. <laughs> yeah, so but apparently, like on the, they've already edited it on the. Yeah, they they've edited. Oh, oh, oh God, yes. So <laughs> what, no way. what was wrong with this match? No, so let's, no, let's, they were saying boo words, boo yeah. words. Let's start with what was wrong with this match. First, the lighting. Yes, that was so stupid Why to me. Was it red the okay. whole time? JC, I haven't done this in a while, but can I request a GIF play behind us? Uh, if I can, can find you, it. Can, can you find uh, from Tommy Boy? <laughs> um, when he explains how he always messes up the deal in the diner. Because oh. I kind of feel that's what WWE does when minute. they find something good. Not so much cool. here Here's or here. And, 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 oh, that's my little pets. <laughs> <laughs> that's what WWE the... does when they find something that works and the fans like. Okay. Tommy Boyd diner. <laughs> Jeff. I'm going to put that. He's going to be. That's hilarious. That's I'm, looking, I'm looking for it now. Okay. Um, so. That lighting was an issue, and yes. I, I, I said, like, why? We, we can't, you can barely see what was going on on camera. I'm sure it was worse for the live crowd because right. the, the, the uh, cage was already red. Like, what yeah. was the point? Um, funny part is, I thought somebody was going to be under the ring because during the Sasha and uh, Becky match, the point when she was pulling a weapon under the, uh, from out from under the ring, she pulled the apron up, and there was a monitor under the ring. Yeah. <laughs> it's set up I've for something that behind it. Yeah, yeah right, so right. Uh, there, Tina found the joke. Oh, part of it. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> So the lighting was bad, and I think what really, the way you had booked The Fiend in a cell, and the way he no, was really taking so though. many of the beatings, he was taking finishers, he was taking weapons, and he kept kicking out at one or no selling them. He no sold a freaking uh, curb stomp at some point. I mean, he, he no sold no, a No, you're right, you're right. He, it was a point where he literally like, took one and just stood right back up. So, so here's my question. Yeah. For, like Going back all the way, why is the fiend in a WWE title match right off the bat? Like not like not that he wasn't worthy. Like, what's the point of his character going after a title? Right? That yeah. doesn't seem to be what his character is about. I think it was. Uh, I want to say somebody. I want to upset on the pre-show panel that he just wants to watch the world burn. I love the Joker from The Dark Knight. Which in that case, or the I from Spawn, which yeah. also, who he also looks like. Which in that case, I was I wasn't expecting him to win the title. I found <laughs> He's it. Fun with I found it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I wasn't expecting him to win the title. I thought maybe you would have had like them just <clears throat> going out at it, violence back and forth. At some point, they break through the cage right. door, just keep fighting, fighting, and then they just lay each other out, and that's how the event goes off the air. And maybe I could have lived with that. But I felt like this finish, and a lot of people felt like... I agree with what you're saying. Just this insulted ways. fans' intelligence. Um, yeah. Beating him with weapons, he's kicking that. out at one. And then... How many curb stomps did he get? I don't even like know. Like nine? Chairs. Uh, never mind the... Okay. Hits him with a toolbox with wrenches flying out. Stacks this crap on him. But he pulls out Triple H's sledgehammer. Oh my God, he went too far and hits him with it. We got to stop the matches too much. Never mind the fact that the Fiend used this huge ass mallet, which is like three times the Thank size you. of a sledgehammer earlier <clears throat> on the outside of the ring, and nobody stopped that. Every everyone wants to do the Harley Quinn cosplay, man. <laughs> let us remind ourselves. Let us let lest we forget that this is the exact same match where we nearly killed Mick Foley at least three times. Twice during the 98 Hell in a Cell, and then once with the 2000 No Way Out Hell in a Cell when Triple H back might have dropped his ass. But that, that was planned. That was planned. True. Yeah. The first true. one wasn't. True. True. But let us remind ourselves, yeah. we still... We still we, the, 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 Vince tried to kill Mick Foley. I, I, no one can convince me otherwise. That, to, me that's, <laughs> to me, that's canon. Wow, anyway, <laughs> let us also... Uh, conspiracy theory. Kenny. Let us also remind ourselves, we also tried to kill Rikishi from Hell in a Cell when Undertaker chokes him to the back of the truck. Hell in a Cell, yeah. Let us also remind ourselves the Undertaker, and not Undertaker, Triple H and Batista <clears throat> used everything almost that Seth and The Fiend did, plus some, and no one said a thing. The problem was none of them <laughs> had piercings that they could pull out with 
pliers. That, that would this is a good point. However, Karma. <laughs> in the history of Hell Oh my gosh, matches, I remember that one too. In the history of Hell in Cell matches, there's been wing we've had crazy stuff. crap. We've had Vince getting his face shoved into Big Show's ass for crying out loud. That was the most disgusting thing that ever yes. happened ever. <laughs> Why are you stopping it off his sledgehammer? Against a guy who would like, be kicking out of everything. I, I don't feel like they, they booked this too early. I one thousand percent agree with and that. And then they were like, like and then they were like, okay, now we're gonna have this match. What do we do? Who wins? Is she, should the and, win? And should Seth win? Wait, should we do a new DQ? Wait a minute, we can't do that. It's Hell in the Cell. This is so why, what do we do? This is why a Hell in the Cell pay per view doesn't make sense to me. This is why I've all this is why I've said that ever since they started it years ago. Maybe not at this point in the, the year. It's like, but it's not just that. It's like Hell in a Cell to me is like the ultimate, where is where a feud really does go That's, to stop. Yeah, they're definitely. Here's what I think. Um, what you mentioned the uh, the Rikishi Armageddon Hell in a Cell. Yeah, that was notable because that was at a December pay per view Armageddon. Yeah, and six and six wrestlers ran. And right now the December pay per view is TLC. Switch those two. Put Hell in a Cell at the end of the year. You have Survivor Series in November. You close out some feuds at Hell in a Cell. And you go right into Royal Rumble season. I think you, I so. honestly think you take Hell in a Cell out of the pay per view rotation and, put it and bring it back. Well, yeah, yes. that's fair. Well, that but too. just bring it back when a feud deserves it. Yeah, and I'm still mad like, about that. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I so I, I mean, it's clear from the thing that they wanted. They want the Fiend to be like the Undertaker when he first came out, immortal, impervious to pain. But why do it against your champion? Like. Like Seth yeah, take, did not take, come out of this looking good at all. No. Yeah, take take her. It's a take her a year to get to. to and and in fact, the whole lead up to this set is like running scared from him. That's your champ. Yeah. I feel like, like I feel like they're trying to almost make Seth. <laughs> I don't want to say it because I really do like Seth. Um, into almost like Roman. Yeah, the name anyway, I saw anyway. was either you die a hero, you live long enough to become 2015 Roman Reigns. <laughs> Damn. Um, pretty, I mean, it's pretty accurate. They're making it seem like like. Okay. Seth cannot lose to anybody. Here is the issue with Roman. And I don't years. mind that, but it, at the same time, I'm like, Ooh. It wasn't anything against him as a person, <clears throat> not a decent wrestler. I mean, obviously, it's the way he was booked, and I've said this before. People don't like, hate Roman because, uh, you know, the, he's, they're trying to put him over. It's the way they're booking it. Um, there was a point where he was a face. People were cheering for him, and then you screwed up the rumble where he's, like, running back with, like, people not hanging on to him. You're supposed to be <clears> knocked out of the rumble, and it just killed the whole finish of the rumble. And he had to change that on the fly. I think what people turn on, and I'm referencing this because a lot of people have said, oh, why are you saying cancel WWE? Because you didn't like who won. You didn't like who won. You didn't want, the person you won didn't win, so you're going to cancel WWE Network. And I, the person that most stands out to me is Peter Rosenberg, who hosts the Cheap Heat Podcast, who's been on pre-shows or WWE panels. It's not that the person that we didn't want to win or what most people wanted to win didn't win. It's the way they booked it. Yeah. And fans turned on this match when it became absurd. When Rollins is sitting there hitting chair shot after chair shot, banging on this and that, and he's still kicking out. And fans are going like, this is boring. This is stupid. That's why the fans booed it in the arena. Um, you insulted let, their intelligence. Let, let's, let's also remember that earlier in the night, <clears throat> Charlotte got her 10th championship. Not saying that she doesn't deserve it. She's very athletic and everything. But she's always in the women's picture. And they don't ever give anybody up else into like credit or a chance. Yeah. For that match, all of a sudden, like Charlotte left for a few weeks and then came back and she was right back into the main event picture. Yeah. And she has that same concept too, is where she's very athletic, she's great, she's a great wrestler, I love her, but they push her and push her and push her and push her, and now they're doing the same thing to Seth. They they they, <clears throat> they 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 are tending to ruin a good thing. Yes. Yes. And that and that's the problem. See, it's like it's like. W Never mind that someone, Becky kept bringing it up that she gets like past the line. She yeah. passes the line. It was like yeah. me, me yeah. and some friends were talking because like this has been a very polarizing subject between me and a lot me and a lot of my wrestling friends. Mm -hmm. But what uh, like a friend of mine on a, one of my wrestling groups he whispered he said. He, put, he typed in the, in the comment section, he said, Seth Rollins, and ran away. I was like, okay, I'm not going to spend all my time being angry. It's like, oh, because that's not Seth's fault. And and someone else said, I agree, he's just he's been booked horribly. I said, oh, that I agree with. He's yeah. been booked horribly in this. It's not, and, and it's, it's just like whenever they, I can see, I never hated Cena like everybody else did. I mean, I didn't, I didn't hate Roman like everybody else did. I just, but I did see everyone's point. And I did. They're booked horribly, and it's not. And, and it's not like you can't have a 
superhuman type figure in wrestling. This is wrestling. Of course you can. But there's got to be some limit to it. Yeah. But the problem with this match was, and, and okay, but one, one thing really, the red light thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh but, my but, God. But see, but see, but see, but here, 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 here's, here's the thing. I think, I think some, people, I think some diehard defenders are gonna say, well, how come it's okay for that? How come it was okay for Kane, but not okay for this? That's because that was Kane's debut. It lasted the entire time he was out there. Then he left. Then the lights went right back to normal. And yeah. besides, Kane's whole thing was was the light was, red when Kane came out. Of yeah, the when when, when, yeah. when Kane debuted, the lights turned red because well, first, well, first the lights went off. Right, right. Then they came back on. They was all red. Because, you know, that was Vince screaming, that's got to be Kane. That's got to yeah, be Yeah, I remember Which that. Which is one of my favorite things Vince ever did. <laughs> he so did that, he did his thing. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, the last game went to normal. Match. And, and see, and, and wasn't this the exact same argument you have with Sincata matches with the fact that the lights were different and everyone got tired of that? Yeah, that and you gorgeous. thought and you thought now was like, oh, they forgot. This is a good idea again. Not oh, not, it's not. Not to mention you can't see probably, as, I mean, like on TV it didn't look oh, that, that bad. But I'm sure being there... Yeah, was was annoying for the for the ones that paid the money. They were probably like, we can't see it as, as it is because of the steel cage. And then you want to make everything red. And the lights were different when you wrestled Finn, or were they at SummerSlam? Were they? No, they were. Yeah, they were. They were. Yeah, regular lights. Lights. regular lights. Regular lighting, no big deal. And then some, so. like some people were like, I don't know, obviously on Twitter, but they were saying like, oh, I couldn't see the match because I'm colorblind. I'm like, whoa. That, that's yeah. another thing. That's I hilarious. was like, look if you were colorblind, like you can't see. <laughs> yeah, AEW. So you got to wonder. So, so you got to yeah, wonder. Exactly. Like, the NFL had to fix that with those uh, color rush jerseys because people were colorblind. They couldn't tell the difference between the teams, so they had to kind of fix that. So and, and, and to me, and my biggest thing was, it's like, okay, maybe they'll run damage control and I'm sure maybe hopefully dear God like Survivor Series will be better please God let Survivor Series be better well we uh, forget about Crown Jewel before that but I, I did and I the greatest Survivor Series <laughs> that's what <laughs> the greatest Survivor Series that's what they're saying exactly yeah. actually you're not oh, wrong yeah. you're well, right I mean I, know, that's, I forgot that? that quickly that's the thing that's, <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I want to get to later they've done greatest Royal Rumble <laughs> they've done just as good as Wrestlemania <laughs> and now they're doing <laughs> At some point, they're going to do, like, hotter than summer. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. It's wait. in the desert. It's really hot. Wait. If they ever do better than evolution, I'll be like, Vince McMahon. Again, I'm Whoa. done. Wait. Vince McMahon. Whoa. That'll never happen. I, I was a cow with that word. Vince yeah. McMahon. Oh, wow. They'll figure the it out. The men's evolution. <laughs> the very next Saudi show should be called exactly. Just As Good As WrestleMania. No, but that was the tagline <laughs> for the last that one. Was yeah. I know, but that's supposed to be the name of the show. SummerSlam is next. they got to be, like, hotter than summer. You're in the desert. Way more money in the bank. No, so, no, so no, no. and slammy. What I mean is the next coming up show, oh. they're doing Hogan versus Flair, yeah, which is a Survivor Flair. Series match. It is a Survivor Series So Flair. they've done Greatest Royal Rumble, <laughs> Just As Good As WrestleMania, Survivor Series. 2.0. And SummerSlam <laughs> is, is the next one after that. And then it's more money in the bank. More money, <laughs> yeah, more money in the bank. Because we really have more money. Uh-huh. Heller in the cellar. Heller in the cellar. Well, you great. can't see the match at all. <laughs> Men's evolution. The true says. Men's, men's evolution. Men's evolution. The true elimination chamber. <laughs> wow. Um, I touch that one. There's a lot of ways. Oh, to don't go with say this. that either. I actually did have a few ideas of where to go with that. I no. Uh, anyway, hey, post your thoughts. Tweet <laughs> us on your thoughts on, on some future Saudi shows. <laughs> Please do it. Let's I go with it. I want to. See, we need to laugh I'm after out. this. <laughs> we need to laugh after this. Look. I mean, I mean, that's not wrong. For the one good thing that didn't happen. Taglines are funny. even, even though it was weird. Booking, I'm glad that I'm glad I'm not calling them their name. That Oscar and Kyrie Sane won the tag titles, and yes. that Oscar went full great blue. The us. only problem I have to this too, <laughs> she needs to control that miss. Like, okay, that's fair. It's <laughs> like you saw Becky afterwards, and it was like all over her, like not in her face. Like it was, everyone was like, kind of, kind of control. Uh, the only thing, I, the only thing I was kind of which I, I liked and but I kind of disliked too, was that it was just like last minute. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that yeah. the problem with that. And was, then you know, the uh, then night. Paige wasn't even with them, which is fine because I would have. Well, she can't. That was surgery. I know oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying, but I'm kind of like indifferent about it because like you kind of see that everybody's already used to her, her being with them. Yeah. And then she wasn't there, and then they win. It's just like wait. But how great Paige was their, is bad luck. How great was their <laughs> promo on Raw where they're sitting there laughing, talking in Japanese, and it, oh, they yeah. still went in and fought. It was great. It's like dude, they don't need a mouthpiece. Yeah. I prefer. I was like, yes. I prefer them just speaking Japanese themselves. It's it's better that way. Um, before we get into our ratings, I will say this. We're talking about all the way Seth has been booked. If you want to compare and contrast here, let's look at the two that are actually engaged. <clears throat> Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins won their championships on the same night at WrestleMania. Yep. Look at how their careers have, the way they've been booked since then, where their trajectories have gone. And compare. How are fans still reacting to Becky? 
How are fans reacting to Seth? Well, what I mean, obviously you can't book him the exact same no, way. No, but, but they've been smart about the way they book Becky Lynch. No, if you step back and remember, they actually put him together for a while, and they had to reboot Seth with the with the Lesnar win. Yeah, that's true. Remember? Yeah, Becky she was the man's band because. They had him in that boring Corbin and, and Lacey feud for yeah, like a month. Yeah, that was weird. But now, now, filler, now Becky's back. The but filler, she, they built her back a lot quicker. The filler match. But you, you, mentioned, you mm-hmm. mentioned Lesnar. With this thing with The Fiend, it makes The Fiend look so much stronger than Lesnar. Yeah, the fact that but so I, I couldn't I, keep Lesnar could, could put also, Lesnar down, but couldn't keep The Fiend And he down. beat Lesnar. See, that was my point. He beat Lesnar after getting his butt kicked and being injured. Yes. And, and you also have to remember that Becky was is, is in front of the, the, the video game. Um, okay. She's also uh, in the commercials. That's actually a good point. That's actually a good she's, point. You know, she was she is in that Muscle Fitness magazine with Seth, but who's in front? Technically, she is. Like she's she mad. she's gotten so much more publicity just. No, her. definitely. Yeah. She yeah. has those Sports Center commercials now. She is Becky Two Belts because <clears throat> she beat Seth Rollins for the Up Up Down Down Championship. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that, that actually was. So she has two belts again. Yep. And I I she told I told JC it's kind of almost weird to say that the way that they had Charlotte win. And the way they keep teaming them up on Raw, I'm like, please don't tell me they're going to end up being the tag champions, too. Well, they already have a match. I literally wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't either. We'll see. And I'm like, you, know, you have two women with three of the, with all three belts. So it's like, er. And then they'll find a way to get Charlotte the other way. Right. Unless you, uh, well, but if one of them does beat Chayna Baszler, <laughs> I won't complain. Mm-hmm. We exactly. can talk about this. <laughs> yes, we can. So, <clears throat> again, keep the discussion going. Move here. Your comments. Let us know your thoughts on it. Let us know your rant. Let us know your thoughts on future Let Saudi show know, ideas man. and when they can market that, um, and we'll go from there. And and, and and go ahead and talk about how they don't have evolution again this year. Really we will get to that. We'll start first with our WrestleCast ratings for this event. Now, um, right. oh yeah, and, and Brian Reigns versus. <coughs> No, that wasn't. That wasn't oh, yeah, that was actually a decent tag match, too. Yeah. Although I loved at the end, brothers don't shake hands, brothers <laughs> get a hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, what is your rating for Hell in a Cell? So, up until the main event, 4.25. But then? The main event, December to, to dismember. Oh, what Jesus. Is are you giving Zero it? to five, five years made So, what'd you give it? To dismember. What right. are you giving it? Overall? Yeah. Uh, wow. Yes, overall. So, so like... 3.5? Okay. Okay. Like, that, that main event brought it down. Like I said, 4.25 for most of the show was a pretty decent show. Nothing too, too, too over the top, but that 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 main event was, like, December. To, like, we may have to go 0 to 5, 5 being wow. WrestleMania 17, 0 being the main event. <laughs> <of Hell itself. laughs> there you go. Actually, I might have to change it. All right. So, Tommy, what is your rating then? 2. Too good. God. I'm so, I was so upset with this. Like, look, okay, and I may, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I am, and maybe Tommy, you, you overreact. Tommy no. overreact. Whoa. Who thought? And maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I'm yeah, just in, in my feelings about this, but I, I was highly disappointed with this, and I, I'm giving it a two. And people can be like, oh, you're overreacting. Maybe I am, and that's okay with me. Without yeah. the main event, what was your rating for this? Without the main event. <clears throat> Uh, so much of it was thrown together. I, I'd have to give it like maybe a three point seven five. Okay. Because because so much was thrown together at the last minute. It was uh, essentially it was a one match pay per view, and that was Becky. That was Becky and Sasha. Okay. So You're saying they uh, I, uh, shot their shot too early. <laughs> well, well, wow. I'm, not, I'm not gonna say you're wrong when you say it. So. <laughs> Before the main event, this was probably a four for me. Um, there, there was, I mean, obviously a lot of this was thrown together last minute. I had an issue with that. But for the matches they had, there, there were some really good ones. Yeah. There were some good ones. After the main event, this came down to a 3.25 for me. Mm. Um, this, I think, <laughs> I think we're on our way to clinching this as the worst pay-per-view of the year, which I thought nothing was going to beat Fastlane for that record. If but. you're just going to watch this this uh, pay-per-view, just watch the first match. Yeah. Just watch the last one. Uh, watch watch uh, Corbin and Gable. That was pretty good. Too. Well, watch everything, and then when they say well, see, it's time for the main event, see, turn it off. But I'm like, but I'm like uh, Tommy. I get bored when Corbin gets on the screen. So yeah. I don't, so like, I didn't I didn't watch it that but much. You enjoy seeing him lose at the end because I barely. That's all I watched because I didn't really watch it. <laughs> all right, Tina, what's your rating? Three, three. What well, was it before the main event? Uh, if you had to give it a rating without the main event, probably a, probably a three point seven five, just because. I didn't enjoy the Corbin match because I, you know, every time he comes out, I get bored, and I'm like, why did they give him so much time too? Because, you know, but then and then uh, uh, Bailey losing kind of upset me too because I was just like, what? Like you're giving her ten championships already too? 
I mean, I love Charlotte. Don't get me wrong, but I'm like, yeah. push, yeah, that, push that, some that, other women. That, that does seem push. really quickly to have her already have ten championship yes. rings on push, her. Though. Push somebody else, please. She won, please. Like, the, she won the first Sasha. eight, and then like two. Yeah, the, yeah. That one feud was. But I'm just like, push other women. Like, I get the four horsewomen. Yeah, I love push the four horsewomen. TV. I love the four horsewomen. Um, but you have so much more. I did not expect the the Kabuki Warriors to win, and I was. It almost felt like they got. The, the short end of the stick because they didn't announce it. Nothing, and then it just kind of a last minute thing, and then they won, and everybody was just like, "What?" That's all right. That's the entire women's yeah. tag team. <clears throat> like uh, the whole lineage okay. is just like last. Yeah, minute I know, and it's, it's, right, it's right, kind right, of crappy. Right. Because Let's move can on. I finish what I was go saying? Ahead. Go ahead. What you were saying? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let her finish. Sorry, go ahead. Because I just think it was like a crappy thing to do, like last minute, especially since you're. You you had this whole thing with Bailey and Sasha that didn't work out, and then you <laughs> tried to do something with Iconics, which you didn't do anything which is with. Funny for and then you kind of did something with Alexa and Nikki, like you were trying to keep them more active, and then they lose like out of nowhere to the Kabuki Warriors after they beat them like two times. So I'm like, I just it, the whole thing's just confusing. Okay. Now I'm understanding because of pay per view they wanted to just kind of like keep an element of surprise, but I was just like, what? Surprise. <laughs> Why the Iconics been off TV as well? Yeah, yeah exactly. seriously. And then I didn't. The, I mean, the, rope, the tag match was okay. I didn't really. Mm. It wasn't anything special, but yeah. for a title change, you figured there should have been something better. And yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So the the, um, the men's, I mean, the men's tag match wasn't to me was kind of. Eh. Okay, that one. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. just like, okay, um, they're gonna win. Yeah. So mm-hmm. after the second year in a row with <clears throat> WWE leaving mm-hmm. Hell in a Cell fans booing because last year was in San Antonio, people were pretty upset about Lesnar just destroying everything and ending it in a no contest and a hell in a cell match. This has I completely forgot that happened. Taking yeah, the lead, too. <laughs> taking the lead for the worst pay-per-view of the year, 2.9375 Hell in a Cell. Holy jeez. Yeah. Again, if you're going to watch this pay-per-view, just Burn. watch the first match. Yep, yep, yep. It down? No. <laughs> All right. Not right now. Now, uh, this Friday on SmackDown uh, starts the draft. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um... After a lackluster Raw, they better step it up on this one. Um, this is their last chance because NXT is doing way better than both shows They right are. Now. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. And, uh, yeah, the Raw season premiere, great. NXT first time two hours, great. AEW Dynamite, great. SmackDown first time on Fox, great. Where do you go from week two? That's the test. Oh, there's a week two. Yes, and, <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because Raw I having mean, had such a strong what are we gonna do? Premiere, what are we gonna do? Was shit last night for the most part. Let's be honest here. Well, then Raw last week for the I, premiere was ended with Lashley and Lana, which was weird as all hell. So I did. Yeah. Like, I did like the intro with Skillet. That, that was, was good. That was good. Okay. That was okay. About the best thing about the whole show. As a as a lover of the man <laughs> Skillet, I cannot. The other best part was Corbin and Orton on stage reacting to. Oh, that was a great character. That was, uh, but that was just it. weird in general. Like it was no, like it a really waste was. of ten minutes. I was like, why am I watching this? Orton yeah. breaks character. And then, and he thinks it's actually, it was also <laughs> kind of funny with like Flair seeming like he was really getting mad and Hogan trying to be like. Hey, it's all in fun, and Flair's like, I'm gonna, you know, like, uh, this is my ring, and I was like, what? Yeah. No, it just proves my point that they don't know what to do with Rusev and Lana. <laughs> they just random stuff. Oh, uh, like they're we punishing into that, right? Like, yeah, yeah, basically, probably. for some of the stuff they've done on social media in the past and what they've said. So who knows? Um, probably. As far as this, the one thing that's saving SmackDown right now, because I, I'm right now, it's not looking good. Uh, the draft is going to get people tuning in. Where are superstars going to go? Uh, does anybody really have any predictions or hopes that they want to see? Uh, for the draft, any like thoughts mm-hmm. on who's gonna go where? I want to see some people go to NXT. Like I know, yeah, uh, actually uh, down to NXT. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. I, I know Ballard just showed up there. Uh, I would love to see Cesaro down there again. How about Sammy? Sammy, yeah, definitely. Yep. I mean, he's fun with Nakamura, but if he's not going to wrestle, let him go to NXT too. I like to see Nakamura go back to NXT. Yeah. <laughs> well, he won't with the IC title. He's just right. going to hold that. So, um, but yeah, I I feel like what they're missing out on is they're not <clears throat> they're they're saying NXT is still like a. a we have to call them up from that. Yeah. It should be treated like a third brand. You're well, see, I don't know if they feel it anymore if, if Finn Balor's there now. Like, I mean, if Finn Balor's there and Adam Cole, after he went after the match shows over, Chomp, Tommaso Ciampa out of nowhere returns yeah. and make, Which was makes his claim. Yeah. That was great. But see, that's my point. It's like Finn Balor has already claimed, I want that I want that belt back. Mm-hmm. And Ciampa comes back saying, I never lost it in the first place. As two guys, as two top notch stars going after Adam Cole right now. Gargano even declaring, I'm NXT and I'm yeah. staying here. But yeah. there is war games. 
Triple threat. I would. Ooh, boy. Are you kidding me? I would love that. A three, a three team war games, Raw, SmackDown, and. Ooh. Ooh. I, oh, I didn't know that's what you. Oh, that's what you. Oh, oh well, either way or a I triple you, threat. Yeah, I thought yeah. you meant for the title. I meant a triple threat, but a uh, war. Yeah, that would be good too. Like a three team war games. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, I'm done with that. My other thought process awesome. was switching Sasha and Bailey. Which okay. Yeah. But notice what we're saying. We Wait. want everyone down in NXT. But, but, no one cares about well, the band. Do you want to switch no. shows or have them together again? Becky uh, becomes I think, a boss. I think or... they can't put them together again for a while because of the whole tag team thing. But yeah. I think it's mostly because it was a weird thing to see Bailey be vulnerable and Sasha be vulnerable after their matches. It'd be emotional. I yeah. See that, and I was like, out. why do they do that? So I don't know if they're going to switch them. Maybe they're going to bring both of them down. I don't know. Um, that, that could happen. I, I don't That'd think, be cool. I don't think they would move either from an NXT right now. I don't. I don't no, think. They would, I don't think but, so. I don't think they um, would. I just think they should. I thought that was just part of the kind of continuation of like them kind of being Bailey. I don't know if they'll like. Feeling those, like I don't like wrong. like Finn. I don't think she, he's going to be there very long. Uh, Maybe just to the next. I, I think it's until the Rumble area, and I I still think we're going to get Fiend versus Demon at WrestleMania. You know what? You know what'd be cool if he's down on NXT, but the Demon shows up on like Raw or SmackDown. That would, that would be cool. And they, they 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 pretend like they're separate. Like Finn's like I I don't know what this is. Like I'm I'm not I'm here on yeah. NXT. That, uh, you really could cool. also have because um, rumors have been going around for months now that Daniel Bryan was going to go down to cruiserweights, so he could be in NXT because now the cruiserweights called NXT Cruiserweight. It'd so, be fun, but, I mean, he was one of your biggest... Plus, I feel like he's also going to, uh, from what I understand, retire soon again. Like Really? Yeah, because huh. they want to have more children and all this other stuff. But oh, also God, because... Uh, <laughs> well, not only that, I feel like his momentum's, like, slowing down. Like, that he's not that as, could be a product of how he's fucked as well. Yeah, he's yeah. not right. as popular. That's why they're kind of, kind of making him face, face again. Yeah. He was a good heal. He I, don't, I don't think you need to change that. I felt he was a great heel. They, they just, I just once he think, dropped that he was a great heel. I just think they weren't chase. I just think they weren't. He wasn't selling enough shirts and all that stuff. As, as, as they didn't make that damn shirt for you. Yeah, they did. Oh, they well. The finest many. champion. Yeah. So. Yeah, they too. Um, oh, with the big beard too. Is there anybody that's on NXT you think will go to Raw or SmackDown? God, I hope not. Uh, Shayna. Yeah, yeah, I hope. yeah, she's... I mean, oh, yeah, her, yeah. She's only she dropped that title and... and only she drops the belt when I she would, I would like to see Shayna or Bianca Belair. Okay. Who else is... Uh, ah. For me, I would love to see the Velveteen Dream on Raw and Spectrum. That yeah. too. Okay, but I don't know about Bianca Belair. I feel that like they bury her immediately. Okay. Yeah, well... Velveteen Dream, it, I think it's kind of impossible to bury him. He's kind of like... When you try to bury I, him, he maybe, makes himself more popular. Maybe they could even bring in um, Eo. Eo Shirai. And put him with... Eo go and get it called up, I think would be cool if they could do like the Black Lotus Triad. Well, like she's, well, she's... I was speaks, just going to say, oh, wouldn't yeah. the first but thing she, they do is put her with... Google but see, but... But that, she speaks really good English. That's a hell of a stable when you think about but it. Then, no, but, I know, but that's just... <laughs> that's what WWE... I know, I know. I know. Out of the three of them, she speaks really good English. True. Yeah. Yeah. But in and, and, and WWE's defense, and you, know I'm, and you know I have to mean this if I'm defending them right now... Lucha Underground did that with the Black Lotus Triad, but yeah, was... but Black Lotus Triad sounds awesome. What? Kabuki <laughs> Warriors, I'm sorry. If they experience, change... <laughs> experience, damn it, damn it. <laughs> if they change the name, it would, it would work. And they would probably make her like dance or do something like. Oh yeah, she was a she was a badass in NXT. Well, now she dances. Ha, ha, ha. Well, well, well uh, then again, Kyrie Sane was still a pirate and well she was a pirate everywhere, so actually that's yeah. actually not that We will see how this plays out. The draft does start Friday, it's, and then you have like a couple days in between, and then it continues and finishes on Raw the following Monday. So no calls for it to be continuing on with NXT as well. So I don't know how much NXT is gonna be involved with the draft as well, even though it I feel like it's being treated like a third brand. But uh, yeah, that's why I don't think I don't know if they're doing call ups anymore, yeah. really. You know, but we'll see. We shall see. Now, uh, moving on from the biggest promotion here on this side of the planet into the biggest one on the other side of the planet. Ah, <laughs> my Japan yeah, Pro Wrestling. Uh, they have an event oh, coming it's up. Tommy time. I'm going to take it's it Tommy time. <laughs> they have an Get back here, you cowards. Oh, it's an event coming up this Monday uh, called King of Pro Wrestling. And, Which is uh, always a great time. There's nine matches on the card. We're going to talk about five of them because the rest are pretty much kind of like a... Six yeah. man and tag team matches. I will yeah. go first on all of them because I only know one yeah, match. Like, I will go after Tommy. 
<laughs> yeah, no, each, I'm gonna go each, first because yeah. I know one in each match. Yeah, each of these matches, they don't really have many title implications. To one them. that always stood out to me, we're not gonna pick it, is the Hiroshi Tanahashi at 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary match, match yeah. yeah. So, uh, and and, and I, I have I no didn't, idea. Yeah, it, yeah, I didn't know he's been <laughs> at so, for 20 years already, yeah. but he must have started when he was like 18, I think. Tell me, on the first one is the Liger Suzuki match. Is what it that? Yeah, Liger versus Liger. Okay, or... so so and he may show up as as Kenshin Liger, and here's why. <laughs> This past show, I forget what day. I think it was. I think it was a couple weeks day. ago, wasn't it? Well, well, no, they had well, one of their one of their like uh, road to road to King of Processing shows. Uh, Suzuki crossed the line and called out Liger by his actual name. Ooh! Like he yelled Yamada over the microphone, and in New Japan, in- God damn it! Yeah, pretty, pretty much in in, 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 in Japan. <laughs> tell for, as a matter of fact, for Liger especially, that's a no no. You yeah. don't call him by his name, and that just led to because like. Uh, a couple, in a couple weeks ago, what you're referring to was when he ripped he ripped Liger's right. mask off and he had the face paint, which was very Joker esque, and I loved it because the first time he did it, it looked like very Crow Sting, like or Crow and Sting. Yeah, you know? kind of reminded me of when Muda did that once, and he had like another mask yeah. on or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, see, well, because uh, uh, yeah, when Muda, it was Muda he was feuding with at one that time, and he he was pushing Liger like that, and when he ripped Liger's mask off, he, we saw he actually freaked out. I actually had that match somewhere saved. Yeah. I just seen you guys a clip of it. So, but, yeah. first match is Jusen Thunder Liger versus uh, Minoru Suzuki. Tina, you said you want to pick this first or not? Oh, <laughs> Liger. Liger, all right. Here, you're going that way. Uh, I'm going to go Liger as well, just because uh, the way they've really built this up, he's going to have that uh, persona yeah. of his. Uh, Mike is going to go after Tommy. So, Tommy, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's actually kind of why I was asking. Oh, okay. Are you oh, okay. going to pick Liger as well? Well, no, no. Well, because I'm not sure, like... Is this intended to be the last matchup? Because, or is it shooting down to eventually go to uh, Wrestle Kingdom? Is going to be his final. Wrestle Kingdom is his final. Thing. Uh, there, so there, you don't think that's going to be Suzuki? Like, do you? Th- Suzu- so there have been rumors about Suzuki. I don't know if they are true about him, like like leaving New Japan. I don't know how true they are, but I guess I mean like for this feud between them, do you think this is like? The blow I, off match already. I, or... I, I, I think it might be, and here's why. King of Pro Wrestling is actually a show that they treat with a nice. lot of weight to it. It's like when King of Pro Wrestling happens, th- that, that show is like major. Okay. It's like that's the show where it's like there's this, and there's I think there's the World Tag League, and there's one other show, Power Stroke, I think is the next one, right before Wrestle Kingdom. And those two shows are when everything could happen. Like when they could have title changes, when they could have people you lose the right certificate at yeah. Wrestle Kingdom and everything. This is the, those are the shows that actually you it's can't a pretty big one. Yeah, you can't really miss these shows is what yeah, I'm saying. So I'll probably go with Liger yeah. then. Yeah. Liger. All right. And uh, Tommy? I'm going Liger because I think uh his last matches at Wrestle Kingdom will be against <coughs> will just be like celebration matches. Like yeah. I don't think he's gonna lose until Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, honestly I think I think his last matches at Kingdom will be like huge ten person tag matches. Because like when Kento Kobashi retired, like everyone he ever trained and tagged with one and in on that on that match, so it was like it was like a ten person tag. Yeah, like the on, on his on Ken, on Kobashi's side, every guy he's tagged with was on his side, and all of his students were their opponents. So. <laughs> now, uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, Will Ospreay defending against the Super J Cup winner El Fantasmo. Osprey. Osprey, Tina. <laughs> all right. I don't know the other guys. I don't think. He won the Super J Cup. Yeah. yeah. Again, I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know. I know. I need, I don't keep up with that one, sorry. All right. Uh, Not bad. Mike? Uh, I think I'm going to go with El Fantasmo. Mm, All right. right. Interesting. That will change. All right, Tommy? This is actually one of the tougher ones for you to pick, actually. Uh, so I'm actually thinking Osprey is going to keep it. Okay. Because I'm trying I I because, okay, here's why I think he's going to keep it. I honestly think Hiromu Takahashi is due to come back soon. It's been it's been over a year, and they've been teasing it over and over again. So I think he's due to come back, and I think there's no better match that you want to have happen with, with, than Takahashi versus Osprey at, at Wrestle Kingdom, and I think that's what they're setting up for. Uh, Mike, you're long over this. I'm going with Osprey. <laughs> uh, and if you're right, I'll be like, what Japan, the hell? I mean, I That'd be crazy. But, well, if, but if he's right, though, damn. As, as much momentum as Phantasma has coming off the Super J-Cup, uh, he's already got a title right now. I believe he's one of the, is the junior tag team champions? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah him, him and uh, a tag team But sport. is he the yeah. junior heavyweight champion? <clears throat> junior heavyweight tag team. Yeah, him. I know, I said. I, I, but I, is I, he I, the junior heavyweight champion? No, he's I think, not. I think he's going to win. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. 
here. Now, this one, this next one for me is, is probably the hardest one to call. Uh, the United States Championship, IWGP United States. Moxley, champion defending against Juice Robinson. And it's no DQ. No DQ. And uh, Juice, of course, is the guy Moxley beat to, to win the title initially. So, uh, Tina? Okay, this is the one that I know both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Moxie's gonna retain. Moxie's gonna retain. All right, Mike. See, I have to question. Like, I know they said he had separate contracts with AEW and New Japan, but it, it makes me wonder how much time he's gonna spend in New Japan. That's what I'm thinking too. But yeah, <laughs> but when they let him lose, I'll go Moxley. Keep it. Okay. Uh, I think Juice is getting his revenge at this point. Uh, <clears throat> the whole AW thing, I think there was something he was going to be doing temporarily until AW TV took off, and yeah. I think he's dropping it here against the guy that he beat for the title. Um, no DQ. Tends to work in both of their favors. But yeah, it does, actually. Ever since Juice lost this title, his persona has changed, like, completely. And Juice, he's a bit well, more psychotic. So. He also joined a group, but is that only an ROH? Uh... Or, it uh, was, however, he got frustrated with that, and he's not with ROH anymore. Oh, that's oh right. so he's yeah. not okay. No, he's done with ROH. It was, yeah. was lifeblood, but he left. That's oh, okay. right. Well, that's right. That's right. Tommy, who are you going with? I'm going with Juice, actually. Um, <laughs> Copying me. Yep. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I just think out of ever, out of all the people who won that belt, yeah. I think I think I think for Juice. <laughs> Check math. Like math. <laughs> I haven't had that for a while. I haven't. Really, yeah. I, haven't. Also, I was like, my mic was. I just. Working. I just think that he's been one of the guys who's been, who's who that belt has meant the most to. I mean, okay. yeah. So I just think that he's he's due to get it back. Now the uh, current holder of the Wrestle Kingdom right to challenge contract <laughs> is Kota Ibushi, having won the uh, G One. Uh, he is putting that contract on the line against Evil. I think it's one of the guys that beat him in the Evil, tournament. Evil was one of the guys who actually did pin him in the tournament. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Cody's defending this. I'm gonna come around and say I think Cody's keeping it. Um, Kota. Kota, excuse me. Uh -huh. Kota. But I didn't go first. Okay, Tina, go first. Ibushi. <laughs> Tina and I go with Ibushi. I don't know the other guys are. All right. Uh, Mike? Uh, I'm going to Ibushi, and I'm also taking the over of 2.5 on landing on his neck. <laughs> I mean, nice. well. God. <laughs> if Evil does hit his finisher, there's a good chance he will land. He will find a way to land on his neck. I will land on my neck if it's the last thing it's I know. Ibushi, oh, you know there's at least one coming, so. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy, you got? I got Coda. Uh, I, I, I think... I think Evil's still not quite there yet to main event level. I think he's getting there, but I don't think he's there yet. And I think Evil beat him in the tournament when it was Ibushi was still dealing with injuries. Probably. So kind of well, I mean, after Kenta beat the crap out of him in the first round match. Yeah. Geez. So. <laughs> and finally, the main event, uh, IWGP Heavyweight Championship, Okada versus Sonata. It had such a buildup for this one. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, you're going first because <laughs> I figure everyone else is going to try and copy you. No, I'm going first. No, Tina's going to go first. Okada. All right, Okada. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the other guy. <laughs> I am honest. I uh, know. <laughs> All right, Tommy, go ahead. I'm going to shock the hell out of a lot of people right now. You're going Sonata. I'm going you? Sonata. Oh, boy. I have no idea who that is. Uh, so, no, you're not shocking. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. And God, it's God is hard to explain this because I can't believe I'm going against. Okay, is your thought he's going to lose it here but get it back before Kingdom? Actually, no. I oh, okay. I th I think he's going to lose it here and not get it back until like next year. I think he's going to get it back. But this is, wow. uh, I I think Sonata's just going to win it, <clears> and like <throat> I think him and Kota are are going to face each other at Wrestle Kingdom. And the reason I think that, I could be wrong because if it if cuz uh, cuz okay, if I'm wrong, it will shock me not one bit that Okada we'll shock all of us be wrong about New Japan. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. But uh the reason I'm saying it's it's Sonata is because their build up of this feud has been fantastic. Like each time that they've wrestled, it's like Sonata's like one or two like minutes away from actually finding that find that combination to beat Okada until like, you know, a rainmaker hits him and he's he's laid out. But even even Okada has acknowledged him as one of the best guys he's faced, mm -hmm. and I just think Sonata is gonna come out with that winning combination that he needs to finally put Okada away and win that belt. And plus, I think it'll just be cool to see it because I think uh, I think one reason they didn't put the belt on Sonata is because he was a free agent for so long, but yeah. still with them. I think he technically still is. But his amount of loyalty to New Japan, you know, or I could be wrong, I think he did sign a contract. Anyway, his amount of loyalty to New Japan has been proven over and over again because he had like literally has gone nowhere else. 
he was a free agent, but like took no other contracts and was like in New Japan the entire time. So, and I think between that and Coda, they're just looking towards the next generation of guys who can main event everything. Okay. Mike, where are you going? I think Okada's going to retain on a referee stoppage because Sonata's going to pull out a comically <laughs> I oversized will, samurai sword. I will find some way to and bludgeon Ren, you with this water bottle, I swear. In a sumo hall, by the way. And Red Shoes is saying, don't you do it, don't go too far. First of all, Red Shoes would slap it out of Sonata's hand because Red Shoes ain't scared of none of them fools in that company. And it's going to be, <laughs> and the whole match is going to be in the ring. <laughs> The <laughs> I mean, Okada's gonna win. This, win. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, I didn't. Wow. Like, uh, like, old school, like, I blacked out for a second. What happened? <laughs> old school. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. When he has that debate, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. "Oh, what happened?" You're going I'm down. If you look You're at going the, down, Eugene. Blue Jane. Blue Jane. My smooth belly. <laughs> I well, I can see Sonata winning this. I'm sticking with Okada. I'm sticking with my prediction that it's going to be Okada versus Ibushi at Wrestle Kingdom, and Ibushi's going to take the title from him. So okay. I'm still going with that. Okay. Um, if you're Yay. right, I'm just Lord. Yeah, Tommy's Lone Wolf and Sonata. We're all going against the man. If, if you if, expert on this again, show. if you guys are right, I won't be shocked. I just I just had this feeling that Sonata's going to win this. Yep. More than a feeling. More than a feeling. Oh, sorry. That's More our picks for Kanga Pro Wrestling. Let us know your thoughts on the show. It is a, a Monday early in the morning show. You're probably going to take the day off for all we know. I, 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 I actually am considering it right now. Yep, yep. Or I mean, or I could, I'm getting sick. Or just, or, or, or my, my backup plan is just to avoid all spoilers. No. Like literally get on nothing social media oh, related. He's going to take the day off for Crown Jewel. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. oh, yeah, yeah, totally. That? Oh, yeah, totally him. Yeah. Not. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're home that series. day because it's on Halloween of all things. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> the greatest survivor series. <laughs> all right. On to quickly, since uh, it's not the Monday Night War, it's, I guess people would call it the Wednesday Night War. Um, the Wednesday Night Scuffle. <laughs> <laughs> the Wednesday Night Bruja. <laughs> that's even Let, better. Let's face it. Um, NXT and AEW going head to head is it's so reminiscent of me flipping back and forth between Raw and Nitro during the Attitude Era. Uh, did that so much, and so I was kind of doing that this past Wednesday. So how did ratings come out? I think we're gonna do this little segment here of with the numbers come out. How are the ratings each week? Who won the latest battle in this Wednesday so night war? Even though you can watch both. They're trying to put our families out of business. I know, right? <laughs> uh, AEW Dynamite, their premiere, uh, 1.41 million viewers, 878,000 within the uh, coveted 18 to 49 age group. I'm still in that group. Now, right after, <laughs> right after the uh, debut, they did run the show again with an encore. So if you count those viewers with this, it was 1.8 million viewers, grand total. So in essence, you basically got another 0.4 million viewers that switched over from NXT to watch the encore of AEW. Now, uh, NXT, of course, on the U on USA, this is the first time they were doing a full two hours on USA. Only pulled in 891,000 viewers, 414 within that 18 to 49 age group, which to me says there's a lot of the younger generation watching NXT in that respect. Uh, just interesting to note, for the hour shows that they had previously on USA in the previous two weeks, they had an average 1.1 million viewers. So, like we said, week one was always strong. Let's see how week two happens. Let's see where they go from here. I think AW did have a great debut. Set up a lot of surprises. Uh, Tina, you were looking up some ratings as well. I looked up the ratings for the first week and second week of um, the new season of Raw. Okay. And what was it? I lost it now. Okay. Um, the first week was 2.5 million mm. viewers. Okay. Um, this past week, or yesterday, because it's Tuesday today, uh, 2.3 million. So they lost about... 200,000 roughly. Yeah. 200,000. Yeah. Roughly. yeah. Okay. Oh, those are all people who canceled the network. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you also have money. Cancel is better than what we used to. They were red with You also anger. have Monday Night Football, but it's no, it's still. Really? Like red with anger? Really? <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, God. Get out. No, oh, what was the Monday Night game? Was oh, it, 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 it was like Cleveland and uh, oh, San yeah. Fran. <clears throat> that's right. I, I forgot to go. Mayfield. I mean, yeah. San Fran's undefeated, so maybe that's why people watch better. They haven't lost it. It was a good matchup on paper, and then they just destroyed Baker Mayfield, so. Well, there's that. Uh, that leads us, of course, into our one minute warning. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll start with uh, Mike this time because he's going to have what is called the Cesaro Minute or the Cesaro Update. Is that uh, what we're going to go with here at this one? 
It can be. It can be. Or it, it, it's really, well, I mean, I, I kind of had something else, but I'm sure y'all will talk about it in, in different ways. So, um, we'll see. Oh, it's, not, it's not the Cesaro Minute. It's my new weekly segment, How the, What They Should Have Done With Cesaro This Past Week. <laughs> What they should have done, Cesaro. This past week. week. Do, I have, do I just have free reign? All right, I'm gonna go. You can't tie me. Ready, set, go. <laughs> right. Yeah. So at the end of Raw this past week, they had Tyson Fury and Braun Strowman kind of trying to fight each other, kind of not. And I realized that Cesaro was a part of that group. So I thought would have been better for him than just kind of being part of the group. But since he is like the Swiss Superman. It was to literally just lift Braun Strowman by himself and take him to the other side of the ring. <laughs> and then y'all chimed in earlier that he should have big, big swung uh, Tyson Fury. <laughs> and since the crowd can't count, you know, whenever you just swing people, <laughs> oh, you could have big, big swang him for like a, a count of a hundred. Big swang, that's big a swang. Swang. <laughs> I, I didn't really big know swang. if that worked or not. So, um, you know, he could have done a hundred count, which was probably really like 75 rotations, but 50. the crowd just gets in the, in the habit of counting and not when he spins around. One, so, two, you know. Three. Yeah. But um, I'm sure he probably just lost that main event, I think we said, or something. So it was probably a great match, but he took the L. So uh, Next week, we'll see what Cesaro should have done. So there you go. <laughs> right. uh, this might be my new favorite segment of the show. <laughs> right. They should do the, what they should have done with the women. Yeah. Oh, you should. You should. Yeah, you what actually should. Done with Ember Moon. We'll get to that. Put her on TV. Tommy, do you have anything to say? <laughs> uh... Yeah, okay. we've already yeah. talked a lot about Okay, yeah, ready, set, go. Okay, so this kind of goes out to uh, again this whole thing this weekend. A lot of a lot of people I know are saying like, "Well, you know, you shouldn't get that mad." Or like, well, yeah, they should because it's wrestling. Fans are impassioned. I mean, my thing is is that I've always said if you don't if you don't like something, don't don't like crap on everybody else who who does like it or like that. But if you're mad about it and you're you're not saying everybody else should cancel, but you're saying I'm canceling or I'm done with it. That's on you. I mean, hey, live your life. You got you. Got, if it, it's your money, it's your paycheck, it's your time watching wrestling. You do what you want to with your life. That's all good. Uh, as long as you know, like I said, don't mess up what we're trying to do. What we like, you know, if, if we like watch WWE and you don't watch it anymore, don't watch it anymore. You're saying I don't watch them anymore. I know people who say I haven't watched WWE in years. I watch ROH, Impact, uh, uh, New Japan, that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. And don't watch it. But uh, but if people don't want to watch it anymore, don't guilt them about it. We keep saying, watch what you want to watch. Then let you watch what they want to watch. All right. Wait, I'm confused. You didn't talk about Japan. We did that. Well, we, 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 well, well, I mean, we already did that. So, I, mean, Just, I, mean, I mean, I wanted to so bad, but I thought I'd change it. <laughs> Tina, you got something? Uh, Is this what they should have done with the woman this week? <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, what they should have done with the woman this, this week. week. Um, sure, I get it. Sure, I'm gonna be. I have a challenge for you. Since there is no evolution this week, this year, oh, God, don't why don't you fantasy book an evolution pay per view? <gasps> see, I was just gonna see right the segment should be called. Just give me like four. This will take minutes. me like two sec, two Another minutes. Another week okay. without evolution. Okay. Um. So. Um, if you want to. Um. Whatever you want to. No pressure. <laughs> I gotta think about this. Uh, I'll restart. Ready? <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything? You don't have anything. I think you allow him um, to choose. So the my big thing to this week is, um, and probably the guys are not going to care, but uh, Total Diva started again, and yeah. and I started watching. I actually do care. And about I did watch uh, watched an episode, and it was kind of making um, Nia kind of feel like looking a bad light. Hey, remember Nia Jax? Because she <laughs> she basically told if you didn't watch the episode first season or first episode, she kind of told Carmela to her face that she was fake. And that she does not like to take hits, and that she's not a good wrestler, and all this stuff. And there was this big thing about it, and I'm like, wow. You have to watch it, but yeah. Anyways, but my thought process is like, it, 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 I love Total Divas in a sense where it does get to see like cool background stories about things. For example, like Ronda's on there now. That's pretty cool to watch. But you know, while she prepared for matches and stuff, and how she even uh, started in WWE and all that stuff while she was doing uh, her farm. And also seeing like um, Sonya Deville, you know, being that she's you know the the first female wrestler that, that's openly gay um, on the show, and just like there's a lot of positive light to it, but it's also making in my concept or my thought process mean looking making Nia look really bad and um, almost like petty. So I don't know what the season's gonna end up being, but I really hope in a sense that 
you know, Naya and Grandma love be friends again, but right now they don't know. It's really uh, for can't fight. For almost. context, when, was, <clears throat> when this was obviously filmed in the past, about what was going on when this was like what this was around the this was around the time of I'm trying to remember. Was it evolution? Sorry, it was a rumble, I think. Oh yeah, that's right going into rumble. And right, right before um, Natty's dad passed away. So they are going right to show after. that too. They're going to show Nat, uh, the time when Natty's dad passed what? away. No, it was WWE. after. It was after. The WWE can exploit. Yeah, it was after. Dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It was after. Yes. Yeah, but she's still. But they're going to. They're, they're, she's still dealing with it. Um, they're going to show Carmela's whole thing with Corey Graves, that whole controversy about, you know, was he divorced before or separated before and all that stuff. How the internet blew up about how, it. Yeah, 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 how it made her look bad, but in a sense, make Corey look like a, you know, like a ladies' man. Um, kind of thing, and um, Naya kind of being like ultimate heel. She was jokingly saying how I'm a badass now, like because I punched Becky Lynch in the face, and kind of like not uh, not. But caring. where has your career gone since then? Yeah. Well, <laughs> and you know, uh, I'm telling other, calling other like Carmella, for example, um, not a good wrestler, and um, but then Carmella actually said on the show, she's like, I'd rather be a safe wrestler than a wrestler that gets people hurt. <laughs> And I was like, whoa. I mean, did, boom. Our, did our truth show up by any chance? No. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. It's just the previews. Oh, so okay, okay. he might show up later in the season. Yeah. You know, because if I forget what show he's on. It's like, yeah. That's <laughs> true. I'm so happy to be on NXT. But they are I gonna, still say he's the one person who should be able to go to any promotion and defend. They are going to show, yeah. show Ronda's life, their farm, and WWE. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. are going to show um, Sonya and his her ex-girlfriend now. Um... So gonna, now she's dealing with that. Yeah, yeah. Carmella and Corey's thing and uh, her and Naya. Naya's thing about also I think they're gonna show when she gets hurt, she has to have double knee surgery. Mm -hmm. Um and Natty's, you know, coping still without her dad. Yeah. So and yeah. then I'm trying to think, is that it? And then is yeah. Naomi in it too? Naomi yes. is in it. They're gonna she's show back, Trinity. Yeah, we haven't seen her. They're gonna show a few um, things about yeah, she's oh, she, she was so yeah, her, she her, on IG. Well, she, I think the, the preview showed it almost like they're dealing with um issues with her and her husband. Mm. And family. Yeah. So. Uh, well, yeah, his his side of the family. This is around the time that he got in trouble. Yeah, know? right. So, right. so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So if you don't watch Total Divas, I totally understand. It's not a it's not really a guy thing sometimes, but it does translate sometimes I, to uh, to things in the ring. Yeah, we're too yeah. manly to watch no. women. We're gonna watch guys in spandex. That's what men do. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 mean I, don't, I mean, I don't blame you if you don't, that's not your kind of thing, then yeah. I would totally suggest watching Ms. and Mrs. whenever it comes out. This is true. Place. I don't care what you do, you are. Watch Ms. and Mrs. I, I happen to enjoy... Congratulations watch. to them. They had their baby. Yes, oh, did. cool. Yeah. Awesome. I happen to enjoy uh, Watch Told Demons because I think it gives some backstage context on some of the stuff that goes on. And you look back and like, oh, yeah, this is going on. Oh, okay. That, you know, that sort of thing. And that makes sense why it actually in that match, uh, they showed it. Carmel actually stiffed, kicked Naya. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. Naya even said, she goes, she kicked me in the face, and I know why she did it, and, you know, I'm not kind of mad, because I deserved it. That was during the Rumble, like, where wow. Naya eventually joined the Men's Rumble, right? Yeah, yes, she yes. and she, she, yeah, she gave her, her, her receipt, basically. Worth it! All right, um, yeah. I'll get into my minute here. Uh, mine's another kind of cruiserweight sort of thing, and mine is actually my... Okay, first of all, I'm happy 205 is still around. Mm. 205 Live is still around. Uh, I kind of got it halfway there. I said it mm. should be Wednesdays after NXT, but they did move it to Fridays. My problem is, is that the Cruiserweight title has been rebranded from the WWE Cruiserweight title to the NXT Cruiserweight title. And I'm kind of disappointed. I said that earlier. Yeah. 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 Um, Buddy Murphy's still in the pre-show. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I feel like he's still champion, but I have an issue with this because we still have a WWE United Kingdom Championship. Even though it is defended almost exclusively on NXT UK, but you haven't rebranded that the NXT UK Championship. Well, that, that I've said that, you might. <laughs> you you um, jinxed it. Gave him ideas. I don't think Vince knows it exists. <laughs> <laughs> it should still be WWE Christmas time because it, it, I think it still can't be defended everywhere. I, I'm glad 205 Live is still around. I think it's still around. I just wish it was, it was on Wednesdays after NXT. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so good. But, okay, fine. It's the NXT Cruiserweight title. Keep killing it. I, it gives one more title to the NXT brand, which that I, I can't say is a bad thing. I think those fans would appreciate it more. So, in essence, you give the Cruiserweights two nights to work, two or five live at NXT. Right. So, we'll see how it happens. Sorry, we both went over a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Oh, <laughs> oh, so good! Oh my god, this has been rent, fun, guys. Yeah, rent been fun. over. Hold on, right. hold on, I missed this. Gallus from the UK, UK tag. So, UK that tag tag? hasn't aired yet, but oh. it has been taped. Uh, Gallus did with the UK. NXT oh, UK sure, tag. now they win it. Yeah. I chose them at the last. <laughs> And the freaking kids from the home. That panel. happened uh, a few days ago when they taped an episode of NXT UK, which is on Thursdays now. Uh, but yeah, that'll air sometime in the coming I'm still weeks. Waiting for, it's been a while, guys. I'm, I'm still waiting for coffee to win. Coffee. Today. Well, his brother. Well, won. that's what I mean. He's, yeah. His brother uh, one coffee he's, one. One coffee. He's not the strong coffee. He's, no. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the light decaf. roast. He, yeah. He's the light roast. <laughs> he's, he's, the, he's, <laughs> coffee. he's not coffee. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I love the fact that he yells that out. Yeah. Uh, real quickly, the title changes, of course. Lesnar, WWE champion. Ooh. Charlotte Flair, SmackDown Women's champion. Can we watch Women's Tag Team Yeah. 24-7 champion. Let's see if we can do this. Carmella to Marshmallow. Back to Carmella. To Tamina. To our truth Our truth has now won this thing way more times than Charlotte Flair has won a women's title. It's great. He's a hey, 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 a few more times, a few more times, he'll beat Raven for hardcore By the champion. way, new rule, if you show up to a wrestling event carrying the 24-7 championship, beware, because I could be in a referee shirt and I count anybody that's pinning you. And actually, the, a guy we were wearing the Comic-Con, and, and a referee, and Mick Foley pinned the guy, and I, won. Yeah, 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 I saw that clip, amazing. I couldn't stop laughing. That's clever. That's amazing. Uh, you mentioned it, Gallus did win the NXT UK Tag Team Championship, that has been taped, hasn't aired yet, so keep tuned for that. And Riho is the first AEW women's oops champion. Put yeah, it in the oh, wrong spot. In the wrong spot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, women's okay. champion, excuse me. Uh very happy with that match. It went about the way I expected it to go. Uh, he's been he's been champion twenty times. Twenty times? Wow. Oh he's he's seven less than Raven's been harmful. Uh, of course myself and Tommy picked Riho in that match. Which Actually, was really good. On Boom. his podcast, Raven said he's really been it like thirty something times. Like the numbers are <laughs> off. For the house show changes. You know what? He's like, probably right. Yeah. He's like he said right. something like Stevie Richards would come out and say that he had one more win than Raven for the belt, which was a lie, but then he said he also really has like thirty six if you actually counted them realistically. Wow. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I like Raven's podcast. It's funny. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh so, New Japan King of Pro Wrestling is this Monday, October 14th at 3 a.m. Central day. Time. Is there a pre-show? No. No? Not a pre-show. This. No, not for this one. Uh, I'll be asleep. Is... Okay, so and, <laughs> oh yeah, this coming Sunday, Brandon Outlaw Wrestling Hardcore Horror Show. Every match will be inside a steel cage. There you go. Uh, you as far as King of Pro Wrestling, it is from the... Will be like. Oh, God. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Your face! <laughs> it is from the Rogoku Kokugi Kan, or aka the Rogoku Sumo Hall in Tokyo, Japan. You can watch it with your New Japan World subscription account. I will be signing into Tommy's probably watching this one. After the show, because it's yeah, kind of yeah. boring. Watch Our Twitter video. account is at CCG underscore WrestleCast. And of course, subscribe to the Countess CQ's YouTube channel. Do it. Let us know your picks. Let us know your thoughts King for wrestling. Let us know your rants about Hell in a Cell. Let us know your ideas for future ways they could tagline a Saudi Arabia show. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have another one. I just, I honestly don't want to say it. <laughs> okay. Or you can also give us ideas for what Cesaro should be doing this week and what the women should be doing this week. Yeah. It's yes. what Cesaro and the women should be doing this week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> should we just make a general who's been misbooked this week? <laughs> I've got to come up with a jingle. We got. Oh my it. God! Please let's come up with a jingle. <laughs> Next week, we'll be recapping uh, New Japan's King of Pro Wrestling and talking Impact Bound for Glory. This show looks lit. It I am not awesome. kidding. Angle versus Joe. Oh, wait. Wrong here. Uh, well, that was a great match, though. You say that, but Ken <laughs> Shamrock words, is on Tessa the show. Blanchard. Is he really? Yes, against nice. Moose. Two words. Tessa Trust me, this is a pay-per-view you don't want to miss. Now, Luigi Marafuji will be there. I'm Three so happy. Three words for you. Ted, sub. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Math is your thing, not spelling. Anyway, <laughs> exactly. this show's gonna be awesome. Chicago's getting the good shit this year. This Chicago gets all the good show. shit. Yes, so I'm looking forward to this pay per view. We'll be breaking it down. Impact is back, baby. Oh yeah, baby. So uh, check it out preview next week, guys. Four of us on a table. This Woo! is gonna be last. I love it when the four of us are on a show again. Yeah, we didn't even mention that Punk might be coming back to WWE. Oh, yeah. Bye, guys. Oh, we'll yeah. get to that. Oh, wow. I forgot that was even happening because yeah. everything else happened so, this week. <laughs> until next and week. Too. Over the oh, and what about Edge, too? I know. Oh. There's a lot to talk about. A lot of news out there. Edge, 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 Edge got cleared. Yeah. So. If only we had a wrestling podcast to talk about. It. <laughs> uh, I hope we kept this under an hour. Mm. Probably not. I anyway, sincerely doubt it. Uh, over there, we got Mike. No, See we did Over here, we got Tommy. See ya. Bye, dude. Bye.
Bye guys. And I'm JC. And as always, you guys make faces. Remember, pro wrestling is real. People, People are, are fake. fake. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, click right here. And if you want to watch more WrestleCast videos, I got three words for you. Click right here.